Alien Sacrius in here. So I'm going to show you a real quick and easy way to uh, set up some perspective lines in Photoshop. Uh, this is a trick I learned from uh, Dave Raposo. So he gets the credit for this one. And so what I'm going to do is I'll show you one point uh, perspective lines and then I'll show you two point. So I'm going to create a new layer and using the line tool and black, I'm going to figure out where my horizon line is. So uh, let's just say it's here and I'm going to hold down shift so I get a straight line. You can do, um, you know, tilted horizons. That's fine. It's not going to be any different. So that's the easy part. And then I'm going to hold down the line tool and go to here where it says polygon tool. I'll click that. And up top, you'll see there's a drop down box, and it's near the um, uh, custom shape tool. So I'm going to click that and then make sure this is checked. This option that says star, and then it says indent sides by, and I have it at 99%. And then for sides, I have 100. And then I'm going to switch to red and figure out where my vanishing point is. Now usually with one point you're gonna want it near the middle. I mean it doesn't have to be but often that's the case because when it's close to sides that usually means you're gonna be dealing with two point perspective so let's just put it near the middle and I'm gonna click on the horizon line that I've already established and then just click and drag and you'll get this these perspective lines. Boom. Simple as that. So that's uh, for one point perspective. Now for two point perspective, it's uh, similar, but the first thing I'm going to do with two point is I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to press control A, which is select all, and I'm just going to fill it. So it doesn't matter what, I can fill it with uh, white or it doesn't matter what, I'm just, just going to fill it. And the reason I'm doing that is going to be clear soon. I'm going to be using that as um, a selection. So you could do it like more complicated ways or different ways. There's always many ways of doing things in Photoshop. Just so showing you the way I use. Um, anyway, so I created that. And the reason I did that is because this is, let's say this is the size of my image that I want. Um, usually with two point, it looks better, like uh, less distorted, if you have the vanishing points um, off the page. It's not a rule, you don't have to do that. It's just when the vanishing points get really close, you get tons of distortion. So to avoid that, um, yeah, keep the vanishing points off the page. Or maybe one's on the page and one's kind of off the page. So I'm going to press, I'm going to select the crop tool. Uh, you can just press C and that gives you the crop tool. And now if you select the whole area, instead of cropping, if I go close to the sides, I can actually increase the size of the canvas. So I'm going to do that and then press enter. So now um, the canvas has been increased. Um, I'm working with a black background, so I'm just going to change it to gray. So you can see here, um, now I have this extra space on either side and um, the next step is to get our ruler. So I'm going to press Control R, and that brings up this ruler. Uh, these rulers, or you can go to Window, and uh, or rather View and Rulers. So View Rulers um, to get rid of them. Just press Control R again, or you can press Control. Um, yeah, just Control R. Um, okay, and then I'm going to click at the top and then drag down a guide for where I want my uh, horizon line. So with one point, I just used a line, and now with two point, I'm going to set a ruler guide. And the reason for that is because um, the ruler has this thing where if you click, click next to it, it will snap to that so I want my vanishing points to snap to this so that they're on the same horizon line so I will 
click the polygon tool again, pick my color, whatever I want, like red. And I'm just going to click for the first vanishing point. Now I'll try and make sure that one of these lines um, is on top of the ruler line. And pick the second vanishing point. And the same thing. I'll make sure another one of the lines is on the ruler line. That way I can see um, my horizon. So I'm going to press Control H to hide the, the ruler line. And here I can see the horizon. And if I wanted to do some kind of tilted um, horizon, just Control A, Control T to get the transform tool. And then I can rotate this to get the tilted horizon. Um, but for now, that's fine. And I only want this portion, um, the, the white portion. That's all I need because uh, the rest is out of the image. So um, to get rid of this, uh, remember in the beginning I made this, I, I went control A and filled it with whatever, just a color. So that's, gonna, that's the original dimensions of my image. Now if I hold down control and I click the, the thumbnail image, so beside uh, layer two here, there's a thumbnail image. I just click that. It's going to select um, that shape that I filled and I just go to image crop and now um, I'm back to the original size and I have the perspective grid so that's it that's how I set up the perspective grids or perspective lines rather for a grid you have to put in the horizontal and vertical lines um, but yeah so hope that helps